Providing clear feedback to users is one part of building great functions. I'm going to take a look at the function from the last video that was used to compute a confidence interval for the mean using a sample of data. What if the user provided a percentage instead of a proportion for the confidence level? Currently, the user simply gets a warning, and the reason behind the warning isn't going to be obvious to new R users. Instead, it'd be helpful to stop the execution of the function and clearly communicate what is wrong. I'll do this by stopping the function if the level of the argument takes a value less than 0 or greater than 1. To stop the execution of a function and return an error, use the stop function. The argument of the stop function is a character string to communicate why the error was generated. Here, I'll communicate that the level variable should have been represented by a proportion between 0 and 1. Now, when a user inputs a level value that is invalid, it stops and returns an error. I'm also a little concerned that a user might provide a level that takes a value like 0.05 or 0.1. They might think they are supposed to provide a significance level rather than a confidence level. If the confidence level is smaller than 0.5, I'd like to warn the user that they should rethink their input. I can do this using the warning function. In the next video, I'll introduce how to pass an arbitrary number of arguments to a function.